Today, we're taking a close look at Borga from the newest Four Horsemen's line, Cosmic Legions. I'm very excited about this figure because this is my first female figure. Interestingly enough, she's a 1.0 body, which I don't think is going to change anything, but let's take a close look at this thing. All right, guys, now switching gears, we are taking a look at the packaging itself. This is pretty fantastic. So I'm excited I get to actually talk about this because my first review, the Sentry, I was not able to talk about it because I made it a music video. I made it very different from what I'm used to on this channel, but I think I personally prefer to do it this way where I can actually talk, give my opinion on the figure and the packaging itself because I think that's just more fun. <laughs> but anyways, guys, taking a look at the packaging, I really do like that you can see the figure. I do like that every line that the Four Horsemen produces is different. So between Cosmic, Mythic Legions, and Figure Obscura, you're getting like your own experience, you know, with the toy line, whatever which one you collect. I think you just get something so unique, but something so familiar familiar so obviously we could see the figure itself we do have the cosmic legions logo with vorga right over here we do have a pretty cool render of the figure itself inside it's hard to see but it looks like there's a cell block so you see the orange wall and the gray and then there's like ventilation on top you can kind of take a peek at some of the accessories in there but again we will take a look at that in a second moving on to the other side of the box you can see her bio itself Feel free to pause that if you wish. It does look like she's also a part of like two different factions. I'm not entirely sure which factions are which yet. I'm not that familiar yet. So still getting used to the line. Again, this is the first wave. Taking a look at the back, we do see like all the figures in this wave. It's pretty reminiscent of like the old days of seeing all the figures in the line. I think that's pretty cool. You can kind of feel and tell a story just by reading like their titles and everything. It's pretty cool cool to see that on this side I'm gonna scoot this up you can see the book itself so the basically the main story anyways guys let's go ahead and open this thing up so here you go here's a quick look at the little cardboard piece so this is actually kind of nice if you want to take this out and use it as a little display piece so that's pretty awesome Okay, folks, so there's a good amount of accessories, so let's take a quick look at them. Okay, so one of the first things that I actually noticed with the line is they're releasing these little clear pegs. These are for, like, little holes to attach the weapons to and stuff, so I've noticed that with a lot of these. We'll go more into detail with that. Looks like we got two regular fists. And here, this weapon is just purely, purely insane. I I'm sure there's a name for this, but it's like a heavy machine gun. And then you got this belt over here that attaches, which is like really soft. This is pretty cool, guys. Okay, guys, and switching screens real quick, I just want to show this figure off and talk a little bit about it. I just got to say, number one, this figure in hand is pretty amazing. <laughs> I got to say that. So just taking a look at her face, guys, this looks pretty unique and fantastic i love the new alien races it just feels kind of and i hate to say star warsy to me but i do like the different types of alien races and creativeness that you can go with any line and eric treadaway just crushed it with this sculpt i mean this is so unique so different i mean like just looking around so we got this ponytail back here um, I do notice like the paints are not like exactly perfect like you can see the purple or you can see the tan touching into the head same thing in the back here honestly at a glance you're not really going to notice it not the end of the world but just something to notice here I believe this collar is brand new to this figure so that's pretty cool all right and taking a look at her arm we got her faction tattoo so that's pretty awesome so taking the backpack off real quick just taking a look at the details of this chest piece this looks pretty awesome I love love the different color pieces so you see the front part it's like metal plated on the back this like represents like more of like a soft goods like that's happening and then it's like it's strapped on so you can see like a little bit of a belt detail here and here so that's cool little buckles but yeah that's that's awesome taking a quick look at her bag this is definitely brand new and unique to her I believe I haven't taken a close look at any of the figures in this line but it does look like there is a place for this to be plugged in right here so this is how it looks with everything attached moving down to the belts this looks pretty cool and different i really do like the details of the satchel here 
So that's pretty awesome. Something I did notice about all the Cosmic Legions, and I actually didn't call it out on my last, on uh, my century, was that there's like a there's like a little butt piece here now. So I guess you can add little tails if you really want to, but I really do think that this is new and unique. Taking a look at the legs, this is pretty cool. So you got two-tone color. You got, again, like an armor piece at the front and like soft in the middle. Well, some sort of representation of that. And something that's pretty cool are the boots. Boots. I, I like I actually didn't even notice that there was a couple of different shades of colors some other details I want to point out are the gloves itself you do see a little bit of a bronze here you do see a little bit of a silver and the gloves like just take a look at the glove details guys that is pretty awesome but let's go ahead and show the articulation so if you're familiar with the legions line in general a lot of it feels pretty much the same there is pop and swapping so you can pull these parts apart and switch them around i need to blow dry this so i'm not going to do that but let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation head movement on a ball joint so pretty good articulation the collar is limiting head movement looking down but you can look pretty decently up you look left right so that's pretty good move into your arms you can pretty much do a t pose and you can spin it all the way around elbow bend over here wrist twist and then we got chest on a ball joint so she can do the and then legs wow we can do a nice little split here so there we go and i believe we do have a twist at the thigh yep we do we got knee bend here a lot of the typical articulation if you're familiar with the line let's deck her out okay folks here we go in all her glory she is a gunner she's a rock star she looks amazing look at that i really love this gun i really love all the details that goes into it the backpack this looks so awesome guys let me know what you think in the comments below but let's just go ahead and do some comparisons 